Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training and in today's lesson, we'll talk about Bad Debt Relief and Bad Debt Recovery. So, the basic meaning of Bad Debt Relief is if your customer owe you money more than 6 months, which you already charged them GST, you can recover, you can do the Bad Debt Relief and get back the GST that you pay on behalf from custom and at the same time if you do a purchase um, which you have not cleared off more than six months you need to pay the GST. Now the whole things can be handled by SQL accounting system automatically. How it been done? Let's go to customer. We go to customer invoice and I have already created a few invoice and one of them is called invoice IB bet Allen okay so this sales is made in April now there's one very special things um, in SQL is under customer meeting customer we know that under the text tab we are able to set the GST number now do remember if you sell something to your customer who is not a GST registered person even though you charge them GST you cannot claim the bad debt relief. This is the new regulations as at 23rd of November 2015. So if you do wish to claim then please update your customer info and put in the GST number. So let's go and process GST 03. So after process GST 03 and we can check the output tax and we can see that this invoice has been charged GST but the customer have not paid meaning that you need to pay on behalf for that amount so there are others also transactions so 3 months pass then 6 months GST, new GST return again nothing special happened and for the third time when you process GST 03 without doing anything this screen will pop up we call it bad debt with this screen in this screen system will actually show you this is the transactions this is sales that you have charged your customer more than six months and they have not paid you now you can do bad debt relief and you can see that for all these invoice it has been ticked except for this one for the allen IV bad allen this is because you have not maintained the gst number in maintain customer so what you can do is if you confirm that this customer is GST registered but only thing that you forgot to put in their GST number you can still click meaning you still want to claim the better relief this is just a security setting that prevent you wrongly claim the better relief and at the same time you can go to purchase site this is compulsory now do remember if you do not wish to claim bad debt relief for example you do not want to claim bad debt relief for this invoice so you need to inform custom within 30 days after the expiry of six months so it's all up to you but as a normal way to do this is just click on ok that's all so you can check under gsc03 so you can see the bad debt relief will appear over here. Now, how about bad debt recovery? Meaning that after you claim the bad debt relief, then only your customer pay you the money. So what we do is we go to customer payment. We check that for Kitty. Oh no, we should go to customer invoice. We check kitty. There's one invoice in April 215 that have not been paid, which we already claimed the better relief. Now only kitty pay you. So we put as kitty in, we call it um, OR. 
be cover let's say 1000 ringgit so we pay for this invoice the date is let's say it's January 2016 okay do as usual so when we process GSC 03 for January 216 until March 216 and you can see that bad debt relief will happen and at the same time you can see there is a payment this is bad debt recovery but for a normal user what you need to do is just click on the OK part OK done and check your GSD 03 the bad debt recovery will appear over here the 1000 ringgit and any indications in the transaction yes there will be input tax 56 ringgit 60 cent recover from the deferred GST so as you can see this is how SQL accounting system handle bad debt relief and bad debt recovery automatically without any manual interference so if you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. You can get all the latest SQL and also GST information over here. If you want to refer to other SQL tutorial videos, just go to my website. It's syntax.com.my slash youtube.sp or just simply click on the YouTube over here. Then you can have all the tutorial video. Now, that's all for today. And once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.